Ever wondered which countries might not be rolling out the red carpet for Americans? Today we're diving into the top 10 places where Americans aren't exactly the most welcome guests. Hey everyone, I'm Treklio, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're taking a journey across the globe to uncover the 10 countries where Americans might want to think twice before booking their next vacation. It's not all sunshine and rainbows out there. But first, let me ask you, have you ever been somewhere and felt like you didn't quite belong? Well, for many Americans, these countries might just give you that feeling. 10. North Korea. Number 10 on our list is North Korea, home to about 25 million people. Now, this one's pretty straightforward. Strict travel restrictions make it nearly impossible for U.S. citizens to visit. North Korea is like the ultimate no-entry zone. Officially, Americans are barred from entering without special permission, and even those with clearance must adhere to rigid guidelines. The few who manage to visit on approved tours describe an experience like stepping into a time capsule from another era. The country's isolationist policies mean any interaction with locals is highly controlled, and straying from the designated path could result in serious consequences. The regime keeps a tight grip on the flow of information, and visitors are constantly monitored to ensure they only see what the government wants them to see. In 2017, the tragic case of American student Otto Warmbier, who was detained and later died after being released, underscores the severe risks. Warmbier was accused of stealing a propaganda poster and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor. His return to the U.S. in a coma and subsequent death highlighted the extreme dangers that Americans face in North Korea. This case serves as a grim reminder of the potential consequences of even minor infractions. Not to mention, getting detained by North Korean authorities is not exactly the kind of adventure you want on your travel itinerary. So, if you're dreaming of a Korean adventure, stick to the South, where you can enjoy the vibrant culture, delicious food, and welcoming people without the constant fear of breaking arbitrary rules. 9. Iran. Next up, Iran, with a population of around 84 million. The political tensions between the U.S. and Iran are as high as Mount Damavand, the highest peak in the Middle East. Despite the ancient ruins of Persepolis and the beautiful architecture of Isfahan, Americans face significant scrutiny. The strained relations between the two governments mean Americans are often viewed with suspicion. Visitors have reported intense questioning and a need to justify every detail of their trip. The visa process itself can be daunting, with applicants often waiting months for approval. Once in the country, the presence of plainclothes intelligence agents and the risk of being detained on espionage charges are real concerns. On the flip side, Iranians are renowned for their hospitality, often inviting foreigners into their homes for tea. Iran is also known for its cultural richness and history, with 24 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. From the bustling bazaars of Tehran to the serene gardens of Shiraz, there is much to see and experience. It's a paradox of warmth and weariness, but maybe save that Persian rug shopping spree for another time when the geopolitical climate is a bit warmer. 8. Syria. Syria, with a population of about 18 million, is next. The ongoing conflict and unstable conditions make it a no-go zone for Americans. Think of it as the ultimate wrong place, wrong time scenario. Syria, once a gem of the Middle East with its ancient cities and historic ruins, has been ravaged by years of civil war. The security situation is dire, and the risk of violence is extremely high. The cities that once attracted tourists, like Aleppo and Damascus, are now synonymous with destruction. Even seasoned travelers would find it challenging to navigate the complexities of this war-torn country. The historical treasures that survive, such as the ancient city of Palmyra, serve as poignant reminders of a Syria that once was. Unfortunately, many of these sites have been damaged or destroyed in the conflict. The humanitarian crisis is equally severe, with millions of Syrians displaced within the country and abroad. The infrastructure has been decimated, and basic services are often unavailable. For those who still live in Syria, 
daily life is a struggle for survival. This is not a place for a casual visit, and the risks far outweigh any potential rewards. 7. Yemen Yemen, with a population of about 30 million, is next on our list. With political instability and conflict, it's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Yemen's landscapes are breathtaking, from the ancient skyscrapers of Sherbam to the stunning Socotra Island, which boasts unique flora and fauna found nowhere else on Earth. But the ongoing conflict, humanitarian crisis, and lack of infrastructure mean that the only thing you'll be exploring here is the quickest way out. Yemen's civil war has created one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world, with millions facing famine and disease. The presence of militant groups and frequent airstrikes make it incredibly dangerous for foreigners. In 2019, the UN estimated that 80% of Yemen's population needed humanitarian assistance, underscoring the severity of the crisis. The conflict has devastated the country's economy, leaving many without access to food, clean water, or medical care. The risk of cholera and other diseases is high, and the healthcare system is on the verge of collapse. For most Yemenis, daily life involves navigating checkpoints, avoiding airstrikes, and struggling to find basic necessities. This is definitely not the destination for a leisurely vacation. 6. Venezuela Venezuela, with a population of about 28 million, is grappling with political tensions and anti-American sentiments, meaning you might face some hostility. Once a prosperous nation with beautiful beaches and vibrant culture, Venezuela is now struggling with economic collapse and political turmoil. For Americans, this means potential hostility, difficulty accessing services, and the risk of getting caught up in civil unrest. Hyperinflation, shortages of basic goods, and a high crime rate add to the challenges. If you're looking for a South American adventure, there are safer options out there. Venezuela's current state is a stark contrast to its former status as a jewel of Latin America. In 2018, the inflation rate exceeded 1 million percent, making everyday life a struggle for many Venezuelans. The government has imposed strict controls on the media and frequently targets journalists and opposition figures. Protests are common, and the risk of violence during these events is high. Additionally, the healthcare system is in shambles, with hospitals often lacking basic supplies and medicines. For foreigners, the risk of kidnapping is also a serious concern, as criminal groups look to make quick money in a struggling economy. 5. Libya Libya, with a population of about 7 million, is a country plagued by ongoing conflict and instability. The turmoil began after the fall of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, which left a power vacuum that various factions have been fighting to fill ever since. This has led to a highly volatile security situation. For Americans, this translates to a very high risk of violence, kidnapping, and even death. Libya's rich history, with sites like Leptis Magna, one of the best preserved Roman cities in the Mediterranean, is overshadowed by the chaos that reigns. Leptis Magna, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offers a glimpse into the grandeur of the Roman Empire, with its majestic ruins standing as a testament to a time of great prosperity. Unfortunately, the ongoing conflict has made it nearly impossible for tourists to visit safely. The country's complex political landscape makes it one of the most perilous destinations for any traveler. In recent years, the presence of ISIS and other militant groups has further complicated the situation. These groups have taken advantage of the instability to establish footholds in the country, contributing to the violence and lawlessness. Additionally, human trafficking and smuggling operations are rampant, further endangering anyone who might find themselves in Libya. The political fragmentation, with rival governments and militias vying for control, means that there is no single authority that can guarantee safety. This makes travel not just risky, but extremely hazardous. 4. Somalia Somalia, with a population of about 16 million, has high levels of violence and instability, making it extremely dangerous for Americans. 
Somalia's issues with piracy, terrorism, and internal conflict make it one of the most dangerous places in the world. The country has been without a stable government since the collapse of its central government in 1991, leading to decades of anarchy and violence. While Somalia has a rich culture and history, these positive aspects are overshadowed by the severe security risks. Mogadishu, the capital, is often cited as one of the world's most dangerous cities. The beautiful coastline is marred by the threat of pirate attacks, which have been a significant problem in the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean. The central government struggles to maintain control, with much of the country being contested by various warlords and militant groups like Al-Shabaab, an Al-Qaeda affiliate known for its brutal tactics. In 2011, Somalia was ranked the most failed state in the world by the Fund for Peace, highlighting the depth of its struggles. The lack of infrastructure and basic services, combined with the constant threat of violence, makes it a high-risk destination for any foreigner. Kidnappings and bombings are frequent, and the lack of medical facilities means that even minor injuries can become life-threatening. This is a place where the risks far outweigh any potential rewards of visiting. 3. Afghanistan Afghanistan, with a population of about 39 million, is marked by political instability and ongoing conflict, making it a dangerous destination. Afghanistan's rugged beauty and historical sites, such as the Bamiyan Buddhas and the ancient city of Herat, are sadly off-limits due to the constant threat of violence and terrorism. For Americans, the situation is particularly precarious given the long-standing presence of U.S. military forces and the complex political dynamics. The Taliban's resurgence has only exacerbated the risks. Following the U.S. military withdrawal in 2021, the Taliban quickly regained control, leading to further instability and uncertainty. This is one trip you should definitely postpone indefinitely. The security situation remains fluid, with frequent attacks by various militant groups. The infrastructure is heavily damaged, and basic services are often unreliable. For those considering humanitarian or journalistic work, the risks are even higher, with kidnappings and targeted attacks being common. The country's future remains uncertain, and the ongoing security concerns make it an extremely hazardous place for any traveler. 2. Russia Russia, with a population of about 144 million, has strained diplomatic relations with the U.S., meaning Americans might face increased scrutiny and hostility. Russia, with its rich cultural heritage and stunning landscapes, is a fascinating destination. However, recent years have seen an increase in anti-American sentiment and a tightening of visa regulations. Americans visiting Russia might experience longer wait times at customs, heightened surveillance, and a generally chilly reception from officials. If you must visit, maybe skip the spy novels and steer clear of political discussions. The iconic Red Square and the Hermitage Museum are best enjoyed when you're not worried about geopolitical tensions. In 2018, a survey found that only 11% of Russians viewed the U.S. favorably, reflecting the strained relations. This sentiment can translate into a less welcoming environment for American visitors. The current geopolitical climate, marked by allegations of election interference, cyber attacks, and sanctions, has further soured relations. Travelers are advised to be cautious and avoid any actions that might be perceived as provocative. 1. Iraq Iraq, with a population of about 40 million, is another country where Americans are strongly advised not to travel due to ongoing conflict and instability. Iraq's ancient history and cultural significance are immense, with sites like Babylon and the Ziggurat of U.R. These historical treasures reflect the rich legacy of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. However, the current security situation is highly unstable. The risk of terrorism, kidnapping, and sectarian violence makes it a very dangerous destination for Americans. Once a center of learning and culture, Baghdad is now a place where caution is paramount. The capital city, once known for its vibrant cultural life, now bears the scars of years of conflict. 
the archaeological wonders of Mesopotamia are sadly out of reach for most. In 2019, Iraq was ranked as the fifth most dangerous country in the world by the Global Peace Index, highlighting the ongoing risks. The presence of various militant groups, including ISIS, continues to pose a significant threat. For those looking to explore the ancient history of this region, the current risks make it an unwise choice. The ongoing conflict has also devastated the country's infrastructure, making travel within Iraq extremely challenging and dangerous. So, what makes these countries so challenging for Americans? It's a mix of political tensions, conflict, and local sentiments. While some places are outright dangerous, others are more about strained relations and a lack of welcome. It's essential to stay informed and always check the latest travel advisories before making any plans. But don't worry. The world is full of amazing places where Americans are warmly welcomed. Check out my video. Don't move here. Top 10 countries to avoid in 2024. Stay safe, travel smart, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember, the world is a big place and there are plenty of friendly destinations waiting for you. Happy travels.